what are your tips for shutting out the noise when you have lots of people trying to be helpful but you just want to follow your gut? Just how my life has gone. So, I mean, my career was as a teacher and I'm a muso, so I kind of like care for people and give to people and I love to see people have success. But sometimes because of that, I often feel bombarded by people asking me to, hey, can you help out with this? Hey, would you like to be involved in that? Hey, da 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 da. And I have trouble shutting down the dialogue that comes from outside when I know in my heart and from my gut that for me, the best place to be is X and I'm hearing, no, it's got to be A, B, C, A, O, U, you should be here and can you help me get to T and da, da, da. So what are some tips for me without letting people down or feeling guilty or not honouring them to shut out some of that noise because sometimes I feel like I get burnt out. Okay, it's a great question. It's something that's very familiar with me too because I did it a lot, especially uh, fresh out of retirement. I said yes to everyone and everything. And one, my manager actually gave me a hat that had the words, no, 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 written on it. Because he wanted me to start saying no. Now, my fear of rejection prevented me from saying no because I had a scarcity mentality. I had a fear of letting people down. And I also had a lot of expectations on myself to fulfill everybody else's expectations. You know within your own gut and heart where you need to be, but you're not honouring that because you're honouring everyone's expectations of you. And because you may probably have this fear of letting people down and this fear of, of perhaps a fear of rejection, you're not honouring yourself. So in round five, we give you that decision-making framework where if an opportunity comes to you and it resonates with you and it excites you and it fills you full of sense of curiosity and you're energized enough to do it, then it's hell yeah, count me in. In the event that you're exhausted, you're depleted, you don't have the energy to give the best version of you, then it's a fuck no and there's no intermediate, there's no gray area. And you have to honor yourself because if you don't value you, you can't expect anyone else to value you. So you have to put yourself at the center of your decision-making framework. And if people don't see you ever saying no, then they're always gonna ask you for something. If they don't see you as someone who values your time for you, then they're always gonna keep asking you for something because, hey, Jane will say yes, so yeah, let's do it. Let's just ask Jane, yeah. Jane will help. Oh, Jane will be there. And so you become this easy resource that's disrespected and devalued because you're being disrespectful and devaluing of yourself. That's very good, Lane. That is so good. Very good. And that is so where I'm at. It just really resonate with what you just said. And I think the thing about um, wanting to please people, or I, I'm not sure how you framed it up, but it was like about, you know, a bit of rejection. Look, I mean, like I've let noise come in because I'm frightened of exactly that too. Yeah. And it's not just my career training. I think it, for me, it goes to childhood as well. Of course, yeah, absolutely. It all stems from childhood. Most of the decisions we make as an adult stems from childhood. Yep. <laughs> it's really out of that really <laughs> Um, We've got a great um, post on boundaries as well. Um, so I think some boundary work and some statements and some positioning statements that you can have as your Thank you for your feedback. I'm on the I'm on this path, and I'll be moving along in this direction, so that you don't engage in that um, to and forward conversation. So, and another thing that you can do, Jane, is that if you have one of the things that gave me the confidence to start saying no to people was basically I instead of saying no, I just said not now, and so. <laughs> it let them down easily so it basically said look right now i don't have the time or i can't commit but please keep me in mind for the future or please keep me in mind for next year or i can't do it but i know someone that can help you or i'm not the good person for this but maybe connect with this person so you're not letting them down completely and therefore you feel a little bit easier about the decision to say no 
So that's how I started to um, entertain the concept of saying no by just saying, look, I can't do it, but uh, please keep me in mind for next year or another time. Yeah.